My name is Jason Njoku. Um, I'm from Iroko. We build um, entertainment products for Nigerians and Nigerians in the West. Um, you have a music platform called Iroki. We do indeed. What are you doing with Iroki now? So Iroki previously was a, um, in its first time connection, it was actually a, a content aggregation service. So we actually did a lot of the legwork between taking the Nigerian uh, music industry, um, the content, uh, digitalizing it in the right formats and bringing it online both in, uh, in terms of video and, and audio as well. So from your MP4s to MP3s, we basically have done that for the last like three and a half years, really simply being like the number one uh, digital distributor for like Nigerian music. Um, that was version one. We've, I think we've been fairly successful at that. Most of the top musicians have kind of partnered with us over the period of time. And you're changing now, aren't you? We're, we're migrating, uh, we're evolving if you will even. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the reason behind that is that we have uh, this amazing technology platform uh, which goes beyond some of our aggregating partners like Vivo or YouTube or iTunes or like uh, MP3 download or uh, Amazon for example. So our view is that we basically want to almost become like the SoundCloud for Africa in terms of we actually provide musicians with, uh, with the right tools, the right engagement and the right kind of accessibility for fans to kind of like interact with, with, with music, music um, like uh, simply and cleanly. So we, we, we see ourselves more of a, of, a, of a technology platform as opposed to actually a, a content aggregator. And give me some idea, you were saying in the, in the um, interview that we did together for Social Media Week here in Lagos that, that the scale of music downloads is much bigger than the film. Oh absolutely, so to put into context, um, we, we aggregate, if there was the top 100 Nigerian musicians, we aggregate 80% of that. Um, and what we've seen is that last year there was the 202 million uh, views. And this is video views, uh, like video um, music clip views, interview views. So if you think about it, it's short form content, but it's still video. Now, the primary means of distribution for musicians themselves outside of us is actually via like MP3 downloads and kind of people just engaging in music that way. So when we looked at the data behind iRock and our own platform, we realized that one, iRock TV is significantly well known. Um, but it's actually smaller in terms of like absolute audience size than um, iRockin, which amazed us. More importantly, like iRockin was. So the how big is the audience for iRockin? 1.1 million. Um, I actually released this on my um, yeah. on my on my blog recently. Um, in terms and of. And that's much more in Nigeria than. It's 70 percent Nigeria, which is something which, when I first looked at the business properly after like um, two years of focusing on iRockin TV, I realised that the most valuable thing we'd actually built was actually our own platform. Um, because one, we've been able to like, amass a large audience, but at the same, at the same time, like, this is an audience who, it's not like a social network, it's, like, it's not like pictures, it's something where you go there, you take a couple of MP3s, and then you leave. Mm. It's very much to the transaction in terms of its engagement. So for people to keep on coming back meant that people were out there finding the content, wanted a clean, simple user interface to actually download it, and we basically en enabled that. So MP3 downloading is like a significant, part of the Nigerian music space. I think no one's really looked at the space as like, how do we actually kind of um, organize, argument it, at least try to uh, uh, legalize it and, and finally monetize it, you know, crazy, crazy. Um, we had our statisticians um, in, uh, in, in New York, basically like just look at the market, run some programs um, to find out what the actual uh, download capacity is. Today we estimate it's 100 million downloads per month um, and it's with like very low smartphone penetration here in Nigeria. Our view is that by 2016 we expect there to be 300 million uh, Download. like downloads a month. Now they sound like big numbers but again for video we, we see 22 million uh, views per month yeah. and most people in Nigeria don't watch that much video. They, they basically download an MP3 so we feel that our estimate actually might even be too low but we're kind of happy to sort of stand by the 100 million yeah, downloads a month number. Yeah. Absolutely.